Hello sheep, I'm taking my frog for a walk. <laughs> I'm his wingman. Hello and welcome to our Minecraft Hardcore World. I am Doom Mountain and this is episode 12 from our world. We are now standing here in our lovely park, which, you know, we had finished up last episode at the end there, but it kind of rained on our parade a little bit and we didn't get to enjoy the true beauty of, you know, the, the little field here. I, I was really happy with how the ponds come up and we've got little cattails over here and just, you know, the barrels and that sort of stuff with our nice lovely tree and, yeah, I was really, really happy with it. And as of this recording, I am, you know, just a few hours away from, you know, 1.19 dropping the new update. So, hopefully by the end of this episode, we can get frogs in our pond. I really, really want to get some frogs in our pond. But I think, you know, that would be really, really cool. And we also left off and I was thinking about putting up the tower here. Now, I thought about it. And... You know, we don't have any wings because, you know, I want to finish up this village and I'm stubborn and I want to keep to that plan. I'm, I'm going to get it done. So I decided that um, building up really high, I, I'd probably fall and die. So I decided just to make it a nice little sort of, it's like an angled wall. It sort of helps really guide you down this way and sort of really shuts off the area and space down here, which as you can tell, I've been sort of growing some trees to sort of fill up the space because it's not really going to be part of our village here. Now, we also left off with, you know, the Mark's Archery sort of academy, not quite yet finished, but a bit of time's passed and I have now been able to work on this area and complete it. So we've got our really nice corridor, which I'm, I'm really happy with how it's sort of come up, just being the stone bricks and the chiseled bricks, but indenting it into the wall a little bit just sort of really makes it sort of stand out. It looks really cool. And um, I got a little bit creative with putting up the upside down stairs and all that sort of stuff and trying to get like the little one brick missing holes there. But if we come up here, we can now see Mark's brand new archering ra ar archery range class. I probably butchered that, but anyway. <laughs> We come up here, we've got some nice bows out there ready, or you know, the beginner bows so they don't hurt themselves when they're learning, as well as plenty of arrows. We've got some nice comfy little benches around the place, as well as a campfire for the late night training. And we've set up, you know, a little bit of a target practice course. Now, it's not quite finished because I want to get some redstone, uh, redstone, some red tor redstone torch lamps. Yeah, I really know I've butchered that one. But as you can see here, I've set up so that the target blocks have a trapdoor on top of them. And it really, you know, shows you that you've hit the target. So we've got a few like just laying around like our nice easy one over there. And then we've got one on the logs. If I can make it, I did. <laughs> but for our sort of our bodyguards or the people that we're aiming at, I want to replace the jack o or the pumpkins for those lanterns so that way when we actually hit them they will light up as well so we can actually see that we've made our target. The same with also over here up in the hills. Now I suppose I could add, oh, I missed that, <laughs> I could add like note blocks so you know when it hits it it makes the noise and that sort of thing but I don't think that would work too well for our sort of, our people that we're shooting against over here. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this little area popped up and I think, you know, just for a bit of decoration and to go the lore of Mark, I don't think we did a bad job at all. Alright, so as I touched on, you know, a bit at the start there with the pond, you know, it's not that long now until the next update drops and we can go out and try and get some frogs and uh, hopefully not run into the warden and accidentally get killed because, um... I, I know for a fact that if I find the deep dark, I'm going to make way too much noise and he's going to be attracted to me. So what I want to do in the time is, you know, waiting for it to drop. I was thinking that we might, you know, just plot around and start getting a few more of these builds coming up around the place. Now, as you can see where I'm walking and I can only just kind of make out my own way, I have now put in the pathway that wraps around and brings us back over to where our villages are. And yes, I have marked out where the farmhouse is going to be. I know I've been saying it since probably we started here that, you know, I was going to put a farmhouse over there and I just, you know, really got distracted and sort of stopped doing it. 
But that's what I think we're going to do now is I'm just going to cut away and yeah, I think I might just do a little bit of a montage of, you know, me building up the house. Um, hopefully with the next update, we're going to have spectator mode on bedrock. So, you know, our secondary might be able to come back to the world as a second chance because, you know, he's dead. So he's not going to be able to do anything, but he might be able to properly, you know, spectate us and, you know, get some good time lapses. So without me rambling on any longer, let's uh, get this farmhouse built up. All right, so it is now the next day since we uh, sort of set off to do that little bit of a building montage. And as you can see, we have a brand new, small, but very cozy farmhouse for our area. We've also gone ahead and added in not one, but two custom trees as I slowly spin around, as well as filling out that sort of backdrop area and sort of empty space with, you know, a bit more of like the, um, the story of the area. So you can see we've got some of the pumpkins, um, piled up there with the hay bales we've also got a crate that i've made up there with some sand in it to sort of simulate like the grain of the wheat or something that they've used to make their bread as well as we've got over here just another little wagon parked up and got a nice little campfire with some seating around it and yeah i really love this sort of it's not really much of like a build sort of thing but it just sort of tells a little bit of the story and helps make this place feel like it's lived in now, I am not happy at all that we've got to go back to all the torches, but I just have not been working up enough emeralds to be able to get all the lanterns that we actually need for this area to be lit up. But it's, it's coming in slowly, so I will be getting it done during you know, the course of getting this village finished. But if we pop around here, you can see that we've got our pen, which only contains sheep, because this village is a one-town cow, and we have Mr. Cow, so we don't need any other cows. <laughs> But we've got these guys in here and just like all the other houses we haven't really done any interior although this one actually has a fair bit more than all the other houses so um don't tell the other people yet but um yeah we've got all of our sort of composters in here for our villagers to work in we just need to add down the beds but um i'm not going to do that till we release them from the area and then we've got a nice little walkway out here into the sheep pen which you know i think it's a little bit cozy with that tree there i, I really like it and then they've got the nice look out down the river system um yes we do need to do a lot of terraforming to fix this up but again you know it's it's a work in progress so let's now just enjoy the little peaceful walk that we've got between our park and our sort of farm area into where the town hall will be you know i'm really happy with how this has come up and um you know just for a few hours worth of work while we're waiting for the update to drop you know i'm really happy with how it came up 
and it definitely adds more now for the eye to sort of look through when you sort of get back down the end here and then we look straight back through onto it and it doesn't look like a plain sort of area so you see up here it's all a bit more plain and bland and then we've got now here where it, it really does come to life we've got the farm that sort of stretches down from the hills tying it all in we've got the all the houses up there as well as that sort of cliffside mound that I don't want to really terraform so I've been growing trees on that leads up to the arches area you know I'm just I'm really happy with how this is all coming up but this was sort of just in my passing time as we were waiting for the 1.19 update to drop the wild update. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I hope so. We can go get frogs now! <laughs> so I think that now we've sort of passed up the time a bit to be able to get to here. And what I want to do is venture off into our world and find some frogs. I'm going to try my hardest to avoid finding the warden, but you know, I don't want to go underground at all for anything at the moment, so we should be safe. But um, yeah, so unlike normal when I've gone for an adventure, I've just sort of gone, yeah, I'm going to go in that direction. I'm just going to walk until I find something. This time we, we want to find something really, really specific. Yes, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but we want to find a certain biome. So for the first time in this world, I have used the website Chunkbase, which allows us to see the biome map of our world sea. So I've put that in, so that way we're not running around aimlessly for hours trying to find a swamp. And, you know, we've been able to see that it was roughly going to be one, hopefully, about 4,000 blocks east. So that's behind me, past where we spawned in the opposite direction to where we ran off. So that's pretty lucky for us because, you know, I haven't been that area before. So hopefully it'll all be, you know, freshly unloaded chunks so that we get the new generation to... Um, to sort of spawn in there. Now for anyone wondering, no, I did not see any of the um, structural spawns on the map. I just searched for the biomes to sort of help us out so we're not so lost. So with that said, we gotta make our way 4,000 blocks that way behind me. <laughs> and well, to do that, I wanna stock up a little bit more on my food. Um, I think I'm gonna get my trusty steed, who, by the way, I've decided I'm going to name Dot. Uh, for those of you who get the reference, wow, thank you for being around this long. <laughs> but yeah, so I will be getting Dot ready for our adventure. I've also crafted up myself an ender chest from, you know, our exploration through the uh, nether last episode where we got the blaze rods. And I want to get um, sharpness on my sword because, you know, the, the, that nether adventure really show me that the bane of arthropod on my sword is just making it so weak so I've got to fix that so I think I'm going to spend you know just maybe an hour or so getting all that prep work done you guys don't need to see that and then I'll bring it back in when we're about to head off on our adventure all right see you shortly all right guys we are now back here at our world spawn which is very easily marked out by this destroyed ruined portal which we keep coming back and uh, ransacking as we need bits I've managed to uh, spend quite a few levels and a bit of time, but gotten myself a better sword. The only thing that it's missing is a looting three, but it does have that sharpness five on there. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to actually kill mobs with ease instead of stupid Bane of Arthropod sword. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got our trusty steed Dot here at the ready. He's all decked out in his gold and armor that we got him last episode. And yeah, I think it's time that we we head on into our adventure and find ourselves some frogs. So, let's start traveling 4,000 blocks east. <laughs> no, that should be fun. Let's cross the water dot. Oh, have a drink first. Okay, let's go. Ow! Dot, hurry up. There's a trident guy. Oh, I see you. Good boy. Now, did he hurt you at all? Ah, beautiful. Alright, let's head on. Alright, so we're about a thousand blocks their way. One quarter of the way. Let's keep heading this way. Um, Dot, it looks like we need to uh, quickly make a boat. Stay here. No, I want the lead in my hot bottle, Dot. No, don't go away. Come here. Come on. I know you don't like the water, but it's okay. I've got a boat. We're going to be safe. 
So all I need you to do is get in the boat. Good boy. Just a man and his horse looking to bring back some frogs. <laughs> oh. Oh! An ocean thingy. I don't think we could take that on today. But, um... Oh, yeah, definitely got to note down the coordinates for that. Yeah, let me get a quick screenshot. Hey, young Dot, you're not feeling seasick yet? Just found us some land. Ooh, a ruined portal. Oh, let's go collect some loot. Let's try and get the gold. There we go. Wow. That's trash. I don't want any of that. <laughs> Ooh, a village. Oh, you want to get back in the water now, Dot? Come on, mate. Make up your mind. You're scared of it, now you want to be in it? <sighs> to you too. An emerald. Oh, yes! And I worked out this is a rare block, the double core grass. It's our second one, sweet. Dot, where'd you go? Dot, you can't just go running into people's places like that. It's rude. Excuse me while I loot. Ah, uh, normal grass. Oh, another double grass, yes! <laughs> Dot, just stay there. I'm looting. Oh, what? <laughs> Three in the one chest. Okay. Maybe they aren't as rare as I thought they were. Oh, another ruined portal. Nice. Oh, wait. I didn't even see golden carrots. Nice. <laughs> All right, Dot, stay there. Don't step on the hot blocks. Oh, way to break up there. Can you make the jump? Can you? I believe in you. Oh, you... Dot. Come on. Come on. Ooh! <laughs> Another one! Yay! Alright, we're getting a heap of gold from this. I'll take the bell. Flint and steel is always pretty good. I'm not going to worry about the iron nuggets. I think we're, we're getting close. We have to be in the thousand block range. And if I'm wrong, well, that sucks. Oh. Come on, Dot. <gasps> okay, that's a swamp. That's a swamp right over there. Come on, Dot. I see a swamp. Now, come on. Have frogs for us. I don't think it's the new mangrove swamp. And I'm really hoping that, uh, really hoping that frogs just spawn in all types of swamps. Whoa, <laughs> that looks cool. Oh, yes, it is the new one. Look at that, guys. Is the first trees? I think what we're going to need is some shears because I think turtle, the turtles, the frogs breed with seagrass. So we've got the rooted stuff. Okay, these. Oh, is that sapling ready? No, it wasn't. We've got the wood type. Ah, oh, let's grab this and pull out the hoe so we can zip through it. We should grab a few saplings, that way we can grow some of these back at home and we don't have to clog up too much of our inventory space with uh, this. They're not that actually hard to break down with your hand as well. Um, yeah, let's just quickly grab a bit of this and a bit of mud. Oh, I'll hear that sound. <laughs> Wait, did something just jump? <gasps> there we go guys, that's what we're after. Okay, hopefully there's two there, and we can work out how to breed them. All right, oh, there's some water down here. Oh, beautiful, a little fall. Where are ya? You... Was it this spot? Where was I looking at? Where did he go? Did he hear I was after him? And he's like, nah, I'm out of here, mate. Uru, I'm gone. There you are. There you are. Now, hang on, test. Oh, hello. Are you following me because I've got the grass? Because um, I need to find you a friend, or are you just the lonely frog? Mr. Frog. Wait, you don't eat that? Oh, no. Do you lead? You do lead. I thought I knew what was used to breed you. I do not. 
Don't mind me, sir. I'm just going to pillar up two blocks and look up on my phone how to breed you. Don't die. No. They need slime to breed. Ah. Good thing, you know, I have some. <laughs> Nine slime balls. So, let me do the test. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's find you another frog. Ah. There we go. Come on, I found you a lovely lady. She's over here. No, no, don't jump off a... Oh, no, okay, come on, come on. Look, I have a slime ball. Are you attracted to the slime ball like other animals? Okay, here we go. One for you. One for you. Take off the leads. You guys can do what you got to do. Look at him walk! Um, guys, you bred. Where's my baby frogs? I'm over here. There's a fresh frog over here ready for you. There we go. You have that? No. Where are you? They're not the uh, fastest moving creatures, that's for sure. Now you're closer to water, so come on, it should breathe. Okay. Are you walking to go and lay eggs? Yes? Oh, there we go, it's perfect. Now, how do I pick these up? Can I bucket it? Oh, no! Sir, I'm really sorry, but, um... I'm going to need you to do a thing again. <laughs> Alright, so we're learning. We can't just, um, try and pick it up with a bucket of water. The next one is using Silk Touch, which was probably should have been my first one. I mean, that's how you pick up turtle eggs, like, come on. Silk touch. Do I break it with silk touch, buddy? Can I walk on? No, I can't. Okay, let's go silk touch. <sighs> it's not silk touch. Okay, so did you put them near the vines because I've got to shear it? No. What? How do I? I'm going to have to wait for him to hatch, aren't I? Yep, quick look up. I gotta wait from the hatch into tadpoles before they can do their thing. So that's my fault. Let's uh let's wait for some tadpoles then. <laughs> I'm gonna cut down this tree. Oh! Whoa! How many tadpoles did we just get from that one? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so they explode out. That's cool. Yep. Um. Very good. Very good. I feel as though I should take a few more. Because <laughs> they don't look very prone to... <laughs> prone life when they're just spawning in. Jeez. Are tadpoles still down here? Yes, they are. Oh. Can we save? Let's go. No. Maybe we could. No. Okay. We've got a few down here, though. I'll take you. I'll take you. And now you guys can go off and repopulate. Somehow. The slime. Have fun. Alright, so after some trial and error and a fair few mistakes on my behalf are uh, purely just stubbornness and I should have actually looked up how to do it in the first place, but ah, we'll get past that. <laughs> we have collected up ourselves four tadpoles, which we'll be able to bring back to our lovely village and, you know, put in the pond down there and even take some back to the homestead. Um, I'm going to free these two adult frogs which have been helping us out and I think what I'm going to do is just collect up a little bit more of the sort of the mangrove wood and the mud. The wood I'm not too fussed at the moment because we've got the saplings for that and we can easily keep going on with a cycle. But the mud I wouldn't mind collecting up a bit of because I don't have too much clay at the moment. And I know we can sort of wet the clay with like the infant water source of the dripstone. But while we're here, I wouldn't mind just collecting some up. So I'm going to quickly sleep away this night. And then, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just... Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, just collect up that stuff and go back. So you guys don't need to see me take the same route back home. So I'll just catch us back there. All right, see you soon.
Alright, so we made it back safe and sound here to our village. Um, Dot has been put back in his stable and, you know, he's resting up after that long adventure 4,000 blocks east. Now, over here, I have laid out the chest of all the stuff we've sort of collected up. And um, I'm, I'm actually really happy with our, our hoard over here, the mud, you know, the seagrass, which I'm sure I'll just find some turtles and bring them up with it. Our double grass, which... I thought it was rare, but like, come on, we found five of them, so it's got to be the mo more common out of the two. We haven't found the doubled fern yet, so that still has to be the rarest. But we've got most of all our prized possession, the tadpoles. So we can bring back some turtles over here. We've got two for this village, and we've got two for our sort of homestead. So let's head on over now to the, um, to the little pond and release these guys. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's put our first tadpole in here and our second one here. Now, what I have done is I've brought along some extra slime because I'm pretty sure I can use this to speed up their growth. So we can get some adult ones here and start working with some frogs. There's a frog. Where's our other tadpole going now? Where'd the other tadpole go? Did he swim up to the other? Oh, no, there he is. He's hiding in the kelp. Oh, I can't feed you there. There we go. Put back the kelp. Let the frogs do their thing. And there we go. Beautiful. All right. So, let me... Let me go get these guys some lily pads because you know we got them for a reason let's uh let's go get it so they can decorate the area a little bit i'm up here at the top pond because i did notice that the tadpoles did like to sort of swim up a little bit so we do have this area actually connected we can oh i can get in the swim mode see we can swim through to the actual waterfall so i might be worth putting in some lily pads just up and around the top here just in case anything comes up and then we can put our main batch of them down here one there, there. I don't want them too far in. I want some in the middle. Yep. Can we put on top of that? Oh, we can. Sweet. And then let's just go one over there. Can't put one. There you go, buddy. Got you some some lovely lily pads in here for you. Um, let's. Oh, you're good to go. Where's the other one? Ah, oh, he does. He jumped onto it. But where's the other frog? Oh, here. oh, there you are. There you go. Let's watch them as they uh, go on and produce more tadpoles for our world. And now they fight to see who goes to the water. <laughs> oh, he cleared the sugar cane. That's not bad. Oh, yes, they're using our lily pads. It's so cool. But hang on, weren't one of you pregnant? Well, you guys, there we go. Oh, come on. Be in the mood. No. There we go. Oh, okay, so she was holding on to it. All right, guys, so I think we're going to uh, leave it there for today. We've got three nice little groups of the egg spawn there uh, in the water we've got two adult frogs that are gonna you know they look like they're sticking around all right and they do tend to be enjoying the lily pads so yeah we managed to get what we wanted to be you know achieved in this episode we managed to collect ourselves some frogs <laughs> and um, we also finally finally finished the farmhouse which I I'm just over the moon with guys I'm really happy with how this came up the little trees, little pen and everything, it just, yeah, it really ties this place together and I'm just so happy with what, you know, what, what we've got coming along here. So, for all of you guys that have made it this far into the video, thank you very, very much. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode. I'm thinking that, you know, we need a lot more uh, gravel and I need a bit more sort of ancient debris. So I think I might even try and do a nether mining stream or just nether exploration off camera just so I can collect all that resources without clogging up too much video time. So, until next time guys, bye!